Hi there, I'm Robert, founder of DataGrab. DataGrab allows you to extract data from web pages without coding. It offers a Chrome extension for setting up scrapers visually by clicking and selecting elements, and a cloud service for running them at scale, saving you hours if not days of manual copying and pasting. In this short demo, we are going to scrape some information about camera drones sold on eBay. So for each item, we want to scrape its name, price, product URL and image URL. So let's kick things off by installing the Chrome extension. And let's also pin it so we can access it faster afterwards. So when we open it on the page, we can start defining fields. Let's add a text field for the name. As you can see, after selecting at least two elements, similar ones will be detected by DataGrab. So let's add the name. Let's add another text field for the price. Let's add the link field for the product URL. Let's call it URL. And that's a fine. Let's add the final one for the image link. And let's call it image. We can preview the data to make sure that our configuration is correct. So the data is there and as you know most sites um, employ some kind of pagination uh, to batch the data that is displayed so DataGrab supports three methods the, tra the traditional uh, next links which is used by this site it also offers infinite scrolling and load more button so let's set up pagination for this site um, let's pick the next link element and for the purpose of this demo, let's limit the number of pages to three. And now we are ready to run it. So DataGrab offers two ways uh, to run it. Uh, you can either run it in your local browser, which has the advantage that you can actually see uh, what is being scraped. And uh, even if you are logged in to the site, as far as the site is displayed correctly in your browser, you are able to scrape it. So we can see that the, the scraper is finished. We can download the, the data. Let's also view it. And we can see that it's all there. So next up, let's run the scraper in the cloud service. To do that, we need to be logged in to the cloud account. So after signing up, you can, you can sign in from here. And once you are signed in, uh, return to the Chrome extension and finish creating the scraper. Uh, in this case, let's use the, the default configurations. By the way, the cloud service has the advantage that uh, it uses proxies and it also allows you to, <coughs> um, it, it also offers multiple requests uh, in parallel. So, you know, for, mo for more serious projects, uh, you might want to rely on the on the cloud service so we can view the status of this run uh, in the web application we also have some settings that we can change and the application will display the run history uh, of this scraper and we can also download the data in the same two formats csv or json so there you have it um, if you have any projects with, uh, with data needs, be sure to, to check this tool out. It can save you many, many hours of manual copying and pasting. Thanks for watching. See you in the next, next one.